Hello and welcome to Little Fishes, our children's church, this morning. I'm really pleased that you could come and join with us. Well, I haven't seen you for a while and so I hope that you've had a really lovely summer break and that you've also enjoyed virtual Sunday school that we have been pointing you to during the summer holiday. As a church, over the next period of time, we are going to be looking at what it is to follow Jesus. And so I'm going to start today with a game, a game that's a challenge for you. We're going to see just how good you are at following somebody. And the somebody that I'm going to ask you to follow during this game is Simon. Would you like to meet him? Say hello to Simon. Simon, say hello to everybody. Hello children, how are you? We're going to play a game with Simon and Simon is going to ask you to do things during the game. Now when Simon says do something, then it'd be great if you could do that action. But if Simon doesn't say it and it's just said, then it's best not to follow that action. Again, if Simon tells you to do it, do the action. If Simon hasn't told you to do it, don't do it. Let's see how we get on, shall we? Okay, let's play, shall we? Simon says, put your hand on your head. Have we all got our hands on our heads? Well done. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, jump up and down. Simon says, stop, put your hand on your head. Simon's laughing at me because he didn't say to put my hand on my head. Did any of you make that mistake? Should we have another go? Simon says, turn around. Simon says, step to your side. Simon says, step back again. Simon says, nod your head. Stop nodding your head. <laughs> I got it wrong again. How are you doing? Should we have one last go? One last go at following what Simon says. Simon says, touch your hair. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, put five fingers up. Simon says, turn around. Turn back the other way. <gasps> did we catch you? I wonder. Simon didn't say it, did he? Simon, thank you for that game. That was so much fun. And I hope all of you enjoyed it at home as well. This week, our parents are learning about following Jesus. Now, the Bible gives us an example of what it might be like to follow Jesus. I wonder if you know what example it gives us. Does it say that Jesus is like our dustbin man? Or do you think that it says that he is our swimming instructor? Or does it say that he is our shepherd? Did you get it right? That's right, yes. The Bible says that Jesus is like our shepherd. And the reason it gives us this example is because shepherds are great leaders for, for the sheep to follow. I've got a shepherd here. Here we go. This is my shepherd for today. And he's got a sheepdog that goes with him and a sheep that he likes to work with. Lots of sheep actually, but we've just got one with us today. Now a shepherd is a great leader for the sheep to follow because the shepherd will lead the sheep to nice places to find food. 
the shepherd will lead the sheep between nice places to play in a safe way to get there. And the shepherd will lead the sheep to a safe place to rest and sleep at night time. The shepherd will also look after the sheep and take care of it and make sure that if it gets into a tangle in a bush or if it gets lost or if it can't get off a rock, the shepherd will help it and look after it. So the shepherd is a great um, choice to say, I am like the shepherd. The sheep follows the shepherd just as we can follow Jesus. And we know that if we follow Jesus, he will look after us, he will care for us, and he will have our best interests at heart. Now I thought it would be fun today to make a craft that will help us to remember that Jesus is our good shepherd. So we are going to make a sheep. And if you get your little bag, if you live near Ensham and I've had a bag delivered to your door, it would be good to get that now. If not, hopefully you can find some things around the house that you can join in to make this sheep with us. So this is how we make our sheep. You need some eyes, black card, some black pegs, some cotton wool and some glue. Firstly you take the glue and you stick it over the fatter end of the black card. So put your hand over the thin end which is the sheep's face so you don't get that grubby and glue all over there. Now you take some wool, fluff it up so it's nice and fluffy and splat that down onto the sheepy. When you've got all the glue covered, you can turn your sheep over and glue the other side. Remember to cover his head up so he doesn't get mucky. Glue. Fan out your lovely cotton wool so it's nice and fluffy. And then splat that down on the glue here. A little bit more there. Wonderful. When you've done that, you take your pegs and you place the pegs on the bottom of the sheep to make the sheep's legs, like that. And finally, you choose your favourite eyes and you put them on the sheepy's face so that our sheepy can see where he's going. And there you have it our Sunday morning sheep. Well, I hope that having a sheep with you during the week will remind you that Jesus is a good shepherd to us and it's great to follow him. Have a great week and hopefully we'll see you back here next week at the Fishers. Bye.